self-confessed drug lord Kerwin Espinosa recants his allegations against detained Senator Laila Dilima. He says he was only pressured and coerced to make such false testimony. Camille Samonte with the report. Over five years into the imprisonment of Senator Laila de Lima, self-confessed drug lord Gerwin Espinosa recanted all of his allegations against the senator. In a counter-affidavit subscribed before the Justice Department, Espinosa said he had no dealings with de Lima related to the illegal drug trade in the new believed prison. The counter-affidavit is Espinosa's response to a complaint affidavit filed by the NBI in his illegal drug trade case. The NBI used the confession of Espinosa during the Senate hearing on 2016 for the complaint. In a series of Senate hearings in 2016, Espinosa testified that De Lima was part of the illegal drug trade inside the new Belibid prison during her stint as Justice Secretary. But in his counter affidavit, Espinosa explained that all of his testimonies against De Lima were not true. Espinosa also said the statements he made against the detained senator were the result of pressure and coercion. For this, Espinosa apologizes to De Lima. Ang sinasabi na ni Kerwin sa counter affidavit niya, hindi never siya nakipag-deal, wala siyang transaksyon. At kung ano man yung nasabi niya against Senator De Lima, ibinabawi niya at humihingi din siya ng paumanhin. No? Apologizes for implicating Senator De Lima. However, Espinosa's legal counsel, Attorney Raymond Palad, said his client did not disclose the identity of the person who pressured and coerced him to falsely testify against De Lima. Ang sabi niya lang sa akin is that during the time na nag-testify siya sa Senate is that three weeks lang kamamatay ng father niya noon. And there are continuing threats noon sa buhay niya, sa pamilya, sa kapatid. Ang sinasabi sa kanya eh, Binabantayan namin yung pamilya mo, etc. In general lang naman, no? no names. And because of that pressure, kaya marami siyang kinwento. But as to names, wala siyang binanggit sa akin. Recall that in 2016, his father, Alberta Leite Mayor Rolando Espinosa Sr., was shot dead inside a jail cell. Espinosa Sr. was among the narco-politicians tagged by Duterte. The DOJ, however, asserted that Espinosa's recantation will not have any effect on their case against De Lima. This is also the explanation of Espinosa's legal counsel. To clarify, no, hindi naman witness si Kerwin doon sa cases against Senator De Lima. In the three cases pending sa Muntinlupa, he was never presented as a witness. So yung recantation niyan to is more on recanting his statements given sa Senate inquiry. Sa court naman, hindi naman nag-testify si Kerwin. De Lima was originally charged with three drug cases but has already been acquitted in one case last year. De Lima's lawyer, Filibonta Cardin, said that Espinosa's recantation shows that the testimonies and evidence against the detained senator were all fabricated. They are hoping that other witnesses will also come out to confess how they were coerced into making false testimonies against De Lima. The detained senator is also hoping that in the end, truth and justice will prevail. The palace, meanwhile, has yet to issue a statement on the matter. For News 5, Camille Samonte, We Are One News.